and welcome back to Area 51 and a Half Trailer Trash, where Nick and I trash trailers. <laughs> it does kind of seem that way, doesn't it? I am your host, Spooky Uncle John. No, I'm not. I'm John Allen, also known as Spooky Uncle John, and with me, as always, is my co-host. Snyderman501, Nick Snyder. <laughs> and today we are going to watch the trailer for The Boogeyman, a yeah. Stephen King short story. Now, I have to say, this first appeared in the, the anthology Night Shift. Yep. Bunch of short stories by Stephen King. So, I mean, obviously it would have first appeared in a magazine and then he would have put it in this collection. Nick, The Boogeyman is one of the scariest short stories Stephen King has ever written. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm really hoping that this movie captures that spirit because I know they're going to probably make changes to draw it out for a, a two-hour movie. Yeah. So, I'll, I have some things to say about Stephen King films. I'll leave that till after the trailer. Uh, if we want to go ahead and get into it now. Yeah, let's let's roll it. All right. Okay, get in here. Where are you securing the door? Oh. <laughs> yep, very typical. Okay, monster check complete. Typical dad stuff. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Oh, oh that's great. <laughs> that is... Oh. oh, that is a nice turn. That is nice. A good shot, yeah. I kind of want her light up ball. Oh, I'm in. Oh my God! Did you see that? Oh my oh. God! Oh, oh! Producer, the Duffer Brothers? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, look at that! Thing. Oh my God! Oh. oh my god. You believe me? Don't you? Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So, unlike the, that looks great. Un unlike other ones that we have seen, uh-huh. That didn't show too much. No, that showed the perfect amount. That was that was wonderful and that got me gave me chills. And it got me excited for this movie. Yeah, I can already tell that it's different than the story. Yeah. Okay, but that's okay. So it'll have the elements in there, but that was uh, some pretty good direction, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Now, and I think I've brought this up on the podcast, but I find it difficult to get into Stephen King's books, which is why I really I like his stories, though. And that's why I like his movies, because they're easier to digest for me. And I haven't read, uh, I haven't read the Boogeyman. I find that really odd that you say that because typically books are better than the movies. Yes, and I, I can get into a Stephen King book like that because, uh, as a friend of ours had said, Marilyn Barron, she said this years ago. What she likes about reading Stephen King is that he makes her smell things. Right, the way he describes everything, she can actually smell the the scent, sort of triggers in her brain and. And so, like, he he is very rich that way. When Stephen King is on fire, he's on fire. Yeah. Now, he has been accused of having a diary of the word processor. Yes. but And he admits that. But at the same time, he keeps things going on at a really good clip. So if somebody does a good adaptation of, a, of his mm -hmm. novels, then it becomes, like, a, a really great horror classic. Like, yeah. the original uh, Pet Cemetery. Yes. You know, like you could not have found a better actor than Fred Gwynn to be in that. I agree with that. And, you know, there are a lot of the books based off of Stephen King's yeah. novels that I really, really, really love. I love it, both the original and the remake. 
I really love Salem's Lot. Yeah. Like, that is fantastic. And there's a new Salem's Lot coming out eventually. I can't wait to see that. Um, just a lot of the stories based on his novels. Yeah. A lot of the movies based on his novels tend to be complete bangers. There are some, like Langoliers was yeah, yeah, like made yeah. for TV trash, yeah, yeah. but still. Well, see, that's the thing. Like I said, The Boogeyman to me was the scariest of his short stories that I ever read. You know, it actually it actually frightened me. You know, like because you're you're reading it and it's like, do what? Can I actually put this book down and turn the light off and and go to sleep? So I want to go back now and reread it. Well, no, you got me wanting to read it too. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm gonna pick up Night Shift. I'm gonna reread it. And the other one of his that I read, Gerald's Game, the, he does this description where <laughs> he's getting out of the handcuffs and talking about the blood made me wanna vomit, made me feel a little lightheaded. So I mean, he is an excellent, excellent author. And this looks like something that we are definitely going to have to check out at the movie yes. theaters and give our thoughts for it on our podcast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Speaking of which, Nick, how can our aliens get a hold of us? Well, they can find us on social media by searching for at the Area 51H on Twitter, TikTok, Hive, and Twitter. And nope. Twitter. And Instagram. And Instagram. <laughs> I should really write that out. <laughs> anyway, you can also find us on Facebook by searching for Facebook. Face or by searching for Area 51 and a half. And, and where can they listen to our podcast? You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you find your favorite podcast. All right. That's all the time we have for this episode of Trailer Trash. I'm John Allen, also known as Spooky Uncle John, and Snyderman 501, Nick Snyder. And a shout out to our techie Ren. See you later, folks. <laughs>